to the Fox Biz All-Stars, David Asman, Sabrina Schaefer, Charlie Kirk. Charlie, begin with you. What do you think of this approach to Sue? I mean, it might be a valid argument. We don't like your executive orders. I think it's a waste of time. What say you? Yeah, I agree with you. And you know what's most disappointing about this is my generation especially is experiencing a war on us. There's a war on youth right now. Trillions of dollars of debt being pushed on my generation. Job opportunities that are really non-existent. And what is the GOP doing? They're suing President Obama. Is that really the most important thing for them to do right now? Now, look, they might have a lot of legitimate claims, and they probably do. 66% of Obamacare has been changed. But when my generation and the youth and also the rest of the country is pretty much in flames, and this is the most important thing that they do, I think it's rather disappointing. Sabrina. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Look, this puts into a sharp relief why public opinion towards Congress and towards the president as well is so low. It's in the toilet. Look, I was disappointed, actually, in, in Michelle Bachman. I really have seen her as someone who um, stands for small-R Republican values, limited government, personal responsibility, self-improvement, virtue. These are important values, but they get we get distracted from those when we're having this kind of political theater that I think we need to, to push aside. David, you disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. Now, Sabrina's brilliant. You're not bad yourself, but, but the fact of the matter, I'll give you three specific reasons why I disagree. One, the Supreme Court just had a decision today. The recess appointments that the president has made are illegal. This is not me saying this. This is the Supreme Court saying illegal. Two, I have a book in my hand by Andrew McCarthy, all kinds of reasons why in his mind, the president should be impeached. Oh, come These on. reasons are going. Please, Hold on please. a second. Allow me f to finish my statement. The third is now, John, John Turley, who is a liberal Democrat. John Turley said, and I'm quoting him, there's no license for going it alone in our system. John Turley, mind you, a Democrat who voted for Obama, I think the president has crossed the constitutional line. John Turley, Andrew McCarthy, and the Supreme Court of the United States, and David Asman, Respectfully <laughs> Did disagree. Did you have this view, well, David, when George Bush was president and issued far more executive orders? It's again, it's yes and no. no the I fact don't remember is, you did. hold on a second. The fact is, did. is that president, what President Bush did was to uh, put forth these executive orders. What this president doing is doing is changing the laws. With Obamacare, uh, he's not uh, issuing executive orders. He's actually changing the specifics You're, of the law, and that's fine, illegal. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, I, fine, but, but, but suing, that's going to go nowhere. Fast in times of wasting, right? The Would Supreme argue, Court is deciding to, on these right, suing Sabrina, issues. Sabrina. They're no, deciding I, 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 against the president, okay. Sabrina. Right, Sabrina. I'm sympathetic to David because I think that we all agree that we have this ballooning you know, administrative state and the executive powers have just gotten out of control. I mean, let's remember, executive orders are supposed to be limited to times of war and extreme circumstances, not to set major policy agendas. And I think that's what we're all responding to, right? And certainly Michelle Bachman is responding to. I think the problem is that when the political theater pushes out the real conversation about what needs to happen. And I, see, I think that's where the divide is. Well, that's what I worry. And I, and, and, and I kid, David, we raised a number of valid points. Believe me, you can go, this go it alone executive order strategy, regardless of the president, I worry about its increasing frequency over the years. But that's yeah. neither here nor there. What I, I, I most am concerned about is how it looks. I mean, if you're just looking at the political f fallout from that, Charlotte Kirk, what I'm hearing and your generation might be saying is, all right, so. What are the Republicans doing for us? Oh, I see. They're suing the President of the United States. They're <laughs> suing the White House. A lot of good that's going to do us. us. Precisely, and I agree with uh, you know the other guest is that the president has been uh, attributing a lot of lawlessness amongst his actions the last five years. But will suing him really stop that? And then look at the fallout. What are the American populace going to look at this? The headlines in the New York Times and the Washington Post mm -hmm. today is GOP sues President Obama. Is that really the message that the GOP if wants? If you're going to if you're going to rely on the Washington Post and the New York Times to support the that's GOP, the you're going to be waiting for a long are time. That's what the American David, people are they read. suing the President of the United States or not? They are. And you believe for perfectly valid reasons. I Other people sued the president of the United States Fine. over the NLRB illegal appointments, and the Supreme David, Court voted with them. David, you're one of the best them. people at math I know. You know the <laughs> billions that we are adding to our debt each and every day, the waste, the fraud, and the abuse. You have a son who, who serves our country proudly, and you know the mess that's going on at the Veterans Administration. Don't you think addressing either of those 
gains precedence over talking about the legalese of whether the president should issue an but executive order. But the president order. is about to act on his own on immigration. He's going to send out the message to mm -hmm. Central America, where my wife is from, and South America, that the borders are open. He's going to do that on his own. He doesn't care whether there right, is, he's right. violating know, the law or not. And he I, has to be stopped. David, I, and believe me, I know there's a lot of contempt for the president on the right now, increasingly to this point on the left. But I just think that there are better ways to use your time and energy. Sabrina, so that's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, I think we're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place because every time David speaks, I want to agree with him. The, the challenge well, is I wouldn't that go I that think <laughs> he also, he's also a man who wants sort of practical responses. What can we actually do right now to change the economy? What can we actually do to improve veterans' affairs? How can we, you know, rein in the, the violence that's going on in right. Iraq right now? When so John I think you're right. Turley, but when John Turley, who is a liberal Democrat, wrote it, voted for Obama and right. the Supreme Court are against him on this issue, saying he is acting against well, the David, law. Then here's what I want you to do. Dave, Dave, I say it's time to sue. Here's what I want you to do. Yes. Next Republican president comes in and Democrats are chasing he or she down for uh, abuse of executive orders. I better see you first in okay. line saying sue the SOB. I have never <laughs> seen a president violate laws right. that are already voted on by Congress as this you, president you, has. You Start with Obamacare. Point. You dodge Obama. Will you be consistent on this issue? Of course. Charlie Kirk, <laughs> final, final word on this. The last thing that I will say is, look, I agree that this president has been lawless, but this won't stop him. I think the GOP needs to win the messaging war and not just get involved in these uh, political grandstanding. If they put forth put real out the solutions fire first, and, and then you can worry it, about rebuilding it's not, the house. The American boy, people boy, boy. will not buy that. We will lose electorally if we continue this kind of strategy. Put out the fire. Yeah, we, we didn't start the fire. But That's right. We, it's, it it's left to us to put it out. I had no idea. <laughs> or when we come back, we're going to get your.